This is the Excello MF900 free skate and I've been rolling on this skate now for about 12 months. It has a hard boot construction. It uses three 110mm wheels that sit on a 255mm extruded aluminium frame. Wheel hardness is 86A. The frame is attached on a 165mm mount but the boot does have aluminium plates which allow for a variety of frame mounting options. The frames aren't threaded, the axles come in two pieces. It uses ABEX 7 bearings, it does have a shock absorber in the heel and there are sliders to protect the boot. The liner is removable, changeable and it uses a combination of foam padding, nylon and lycra. It's fastened with two ratchet buckles, one at the ankle and one at 45 degrees, as well as laces. The cuff does move a little bit, but it can't be locked into any one position. A heel brake is included with this skate. At £100 here in the UK, you might consider it a budget skate, but here's how it performed. So Excello did provide these for my use, but before that I had never rolled on a set of 110mm skates before. Straight out of the box they felt comfortable, they felt secure, they felt solid, quick. The ABEC 7 bearings carried plenty of speed and coupled with the 110mm wheels carried a lot of momentum. Over the time that I've used them wheel wear has probably been about 5 to 8mm which across a 12 month period for me sounds pretty good, I've never replaced the wheels, I've rotated them frequently. I tend to roll on surfaces that are on the rougher side. My stops include drag stops, power stops and I've more recently started to introduce magic slides and so that level of wheel wear I found to be pretty good. The fastening ratchets all feel secure. Overall this boot feels solid and robust. I've taken them down steps, I've taken them over jumps and I've never felt that there's ever been an issue with anything falling off them or failing. I could really feel the extra length and depth of the frames and the wheels. They did feel a bit more cumbersome than a typical 4x80. The acceleration did take a little bit more effort, especially in the beginning until I got used to the slightly larger footprint of this skate, but they did feel very stable. The slightly longer frame and it's only slight, a standard 4x80 would be about 243 millimeters, and this is 255 so you're not much longer but you'd really feel the extra stability. You lose a little bit of agility, you lose a little bit of movement ability on the movements, carves and turns and transitions and stops and it did take a few sessions before I felt comfortable and confident with my movements on these skates. But by the end of the first session I was surprised at how much I was enjoying the experience because I'd never really been that interested in a 3x110 setup. felt very smooth, even over rougher surfaces. When you're moving in a straight line, it felt as if you were on rails. It also felt as if I was getting more power out of each stride. It felt as if my stride cadence was reduced, so I wasn't having to stride as many times as I normally would. And it felt as if I was getting more out of the edges of those larger 110mm wheels, more so than with a smaller wheel. These promoted more of a double push stride and that felt quite natural with these skates. Here's where I feel the pros and cons are with this skate. The pros. I would say the quality of this skate, it feels solid and robust and having rolled it now for a year, I can honestly say that it feels as good now as it did when I first took them out of the box. These things are made to last. 
the versatility. They've got those aluminium plates in the soles. As with the MF500, they just give you so much versatility for changing and moving the frames. There are a ton of exciting new frames on the market, more so even than the last time I did this type of review. And you've got plenty of options to take advantage of that with these skates. The fact that they include a brake is definitely something that people will appreciate. Often that doesn't come with the skate when you buy it, but it's good that Excello have included one with the skate. And the affordability of these skates at £100 here in the UK, it's definitely a budget price. But for me, what you get with them, it doesn't feel like a budget skate. As for the cons, I struggled here really to find many cons, but if I was forced to name some cons, it would be the ankle discomfort. Although I didn't feel it much on this skate at all, I did use ankle guards in the beginning, and I also took other steps to make sure that I removed the source of that ankle pain as much as I possibly could. And I did that by covering up the cuff bolts on the insides of the boot. I made a complete video about this and if you want to save yourself some ankle discomfort I would suggest you take a look at it and follow the guidance in that video. I'm going to cite the two-piece axle bolts as a con. These aren't a huge deal. Yes it would probably be better if the frames were threaded. The silver lining here as I mentioned in my previous review of the MF500 is that these stop you from damaging your frames. One thing I will mention, and I'm not really going to call it much of a con, but I'm going to mention it in this section, is that the 45 degree ratchet, it's a new mechanism that the MF900 has compared to the MF500. It feels like a better quality mechanism, but at times after a session it's been quite stiff and quite difficult to release. And I have noticed a little bit of wear on some of the teeth of the strap itself, which is something that isn't evident on my older MF500s. Again, I need to point out, I've been rolling these for a year and none of these have slipped or failed. And it's important to make that clear. Overall, the pros outweigh the cons. And for the price, this is a brilliant skate. As before with my previous review, I wanted to get some feedback from Excello, so I had some questions. Question 1 on the previous video, Excello had hinted about a brand new skate through their co-creator platform. Is there any update on that skate, and perhaps a potential release date? So there isn't a release date as yet, and I don't have any further information other than to say that the project is still in progress. Question 2. Are there plans to release aftermarket parts, i.e. new liners, new types of wheels, new frames, or any other type of upgrade for these skates? As far as upgrades to skates are concerned, there doesn't seem to be anything in the pipeline at the moment. However, the helmet that I am wearing in this video is the new MF900 helmet from Excello, which I will be doing a review for soon. And there is also a rather technical skate carrying backpack being worked on. Question 3. In the future, is it likely that Oxello will have its own website outside of the Decathlon website? The answer is no, all sales will continue to go through Decathlon's website. However, Oxello do have what they call an exposure blog, and I'll link that below, where they share stories specifically relating to Oxello. Question 4. The MF900 and MF500 are now available in new colours. Is there anything different or new about these skates? And Excello's answer was no colours have changed, other than that the skates are identical. And finally, is there any other information that you would like to share? Excello's response was that their objective will always be what it is right now, which is to make high quality products at affordable prices to encourage as many people as they can to start skating. They also mentioned that they are looking to begin creating more technical products to go into a new market with more experienced skaters. 
Wales, which is something exciting for us Excello fans to look forward to in the future. I personally want to take this time to thank Oxello for these MF900s, for the helmet and overall for their support of this channel. Would I recommend the Excello MF900? Without question, yes. These are a very enjoyable and capable skate and if you're in the market for a new skate, I would definitely put these on your shortlist. If you're someone who has never skated before, I would probably guide you more towards a 4x80 setup and I always recommend the MF500. That's not to say you couldn't start on this skate, I just feel that the learning process would be easier overall on a 4x80 where you've got smaller wheels, you're closer to the ground, everything feels just a little bit safer. I hope you found this review useful, a thumbs up would be amazing because it really helps the channel and the review and it's all about making skating more popular and of course if you want to see more content like this you can follow me here subscribe here on youtube and i'm also very active on instagram where you can see what i'm getting up to on a more frequent basis So I hope that answers all the questions that you might have about this skate. If there is anything else you'd like to know, drop me a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. I want to say a massive thanks to Axello for sending these to me. I'll be honest, I never thought I would be suited to a 3x110, but these things really surprise me. They are quick, they are surprisingly agile once you get to know them, and I've just had a ton of fun doing that. So if you're in the market for 3x110 or even your first tri skate or if you've skated in the past and you're looking to get back into inline skating then I would definitely add these to your shortlist. Excello MF900 is well worth a look.